Good morning, 559. Today is Saturday. Yay! August the 31st. It's about 10.30. Gonna head to work. Another day, another dollar, you know what I mean? Last night was pretty crazy. Did a little, did a little singing <laughs> with the homie Mondo. Cause he's like, he likes to do music. And I do too, you know, I like seeing people play guitar. Any, any instrument, I like playing it. I like, not me playing it, but I like them see playing it. I'll try, I'll do it, you know, a little practice won't hurt, you know. But it was pretty fun last night. Freaking hot. Let's see, right now it's what? It's 80, it's 86 in Woodlake and then 83 in Visalia. It's gonna be 100 today, woo! Stay cool, stay hydrated. You guys have a blessed day and I'll see you guys back at work. Yee! So I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got third degree burns. 50% of my body went through four surgeries, skin grafting, all that. I got my whole body. I'm lucky it wasn't my whole face that much, it was mostly my body. Took skin grafting everywhere. This arm on the outside looks the worst. It was just like any any known or it was an ordinary day for me. It was February 14th of 2010. I don't know what day that was. Wait, wait, good thing for phone calendars. We can go back there, let's see. It was a Sunday, so there was no school that day. There was no school. So it happened on February 14th, Sunday. It was a ordinary Sunday for me, you know, wake up, woke up, went to my, Went to my good friend's Eric's house, where um, we went to chill. I went to go just chill with him, you know, just play, play PlayStation or video games, and um, just hang out, you know, just be, just be regular teenagers, you know. And I was chilling with him a little bit in the morning, and then I went back home. I took a nap because I was gonna go on a date, but then. Um, the girl, the girl went back. The girl never hit me up, so I hit her up. Told her, "Hey, what's going on? Nothing." She, she basically said, "Oh, I'm gonna have to reschedule." So that, so you know, uh, that broke my heart. So I'm like, "All right, these girls ain't loyal." No, I'm just kidding. Ah, but by the way, so she, she stood me up, and I was like, uh, "Heck with it." I'll just keep sleeping so I slept a little longer I woke up around probably maybe I want to say evening time around 6 and um, my neighbor across the street I uh, my neighbor across the street I chilled with him too because um, he he was older than me he was more I think he was like 20 something I think he was like a couple years older than me I was maybe 17 almost 18 at the time I want to say alright let's see how old was I yeah, I was like 18, 19, you know? I think I was a super senior or, or a senior, I don't remember. <laughs> but it took me an extra year to graduate, but I'm still a class of 09, cause that's what I remember. <laughs> but yeah, I went to go with my neighbors. We played Xbox, we chilled, you know? As a little knucklehead, you know, I drank, I drank, I drank some, I drank a beer, you know? No knucklehead. <laughs> But it wasn't a lot. I was more into like, you know, sm smoking weed more around there. I was, I was a big heavy smoker back then, smoking weed, cigarettes, all that. But I don't smoke cigarettes. I, I quit cigarettes ever since the age of 18. So I had to, had to know I wasn't smoking cigarettes, probably smoking marijuana. But other than that, 
it was just a regular day. We we're all chilling. We had some friends over, playing the game. They started barbecuing, you know, because he just got off work. Started barbecuing, and um, I, so I, I was like, "Hey, bro, I'll just I, I'll, I'll you start the fire." And so you know, I got the fire started. The charcoal, the charcoal got them all fired. Hey, bro, the fire is good. But I guess the fire went out. The time went back, went back out there, and um, he said it's not on. I went to go look, and but the coals were really red hot already. They're red, you know, so that means they're ready almost. And this guy happened to pour liquid nitrous is nos i guess i want to say because that's the th that's the last thing i remember him saying he poured it he poured it in the pot and whoosh, burn you know like when you hear the I, like my teppanyaki have you ever been to teppanyaki bachi where they do the first it sounded like that but like way worse like like it was scary people were like people were like how do you how do you still work here around fire enough you got burned because i'm only it's basically you control your own destiny and your life you know you can only do so much but yeah if you ever seen the movie how high how the guy uh caught his whole body on fire and he got hit by the bus that scene my uh, my friend alex we call him carnitas big, big dude but got respect for him because well, he he had a big old parenting he put me out when I stopped dropping a roll. Uh, while I was running around, I didn't hear. I wasn't thinking to stop dropping roll. Just my mind blanked, and then I heard it. So I stopped dropping the roll. He put his he put his big old jacket on top of me, tried to put out the fire. And my my brother from across the street, he can hear me yelling, like howling, yelling, like what the hell? So he he told my mom, and my mom gave him the keys, and he drove me to the hospital as quick as he can, and. Went to the emergency room right here in Visalia Times Alta, and then last thing I remember is going in. Well, I can remember the card right. I told him put the window down. It was Bernie Moore. They put it. I, it was like I, it was fucking the most worthful pain. You know, I rather I rather die drowning, but you know, I would I wouldn't want to do that either. But the most scary of my life. I remember going in. They put me to sleep, I guess, or on some medicine, and um, for the shock that I was in and. Uh, they rushed me to the Fresno uh, Burn Center. Met, met some good nurses there, both male and female. They, they were very nice and generous. I'll pick up later on the story. I'm gonna get my food, head back to work, and then um, I'll tell you guys more, okay? Later. All right, break time's over. Like I was saying, I'm gonna pick up later with the story you how my hospital stay was like i was saying i went through four surgeries it's crazy like i think about it it's crazy like i had to like learn how to walk again like you see my pinky the way it is like that it's gonna be stuck like that forever just because it got burned but i can keep it straight but when i leave it like that it's just like that but yeah, I went through four surgeries. I had to learn how to walk again because my nerves were damaged. Right, everything. My both hands were like that the whole time. They had to feed me. It sucked. It sucked. But I thank God that he put. I thank God that he um he got me through that phase, and now I'm moving. now I'm just working hard the way my mom and dad taught me. Just working. Working, working, paying bills, trying to live a life that I that I know I should be able to live, that I know that my dreams. I used to think the negative a lot, but now I let the positive over overcome the negative because you gotta think God put us on this earth for a reason and we go through things, trials and tribulations to get to the to the next uh, to the next process of our life, to growing older. So you guys enjoy life, live it to the fullest. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. You you are the one to choose your right from wrong. You if you experience before and you think it's bad, don't 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 do what other people want you to do. Don't just do it to fit in, cause people are supposed to like you for you, you know? But it is what it is. Like I was saying, I got off a little topic, but yeah. I had to walk again. I had to walk right again because my hands are everything. 
The only thing I remember when I was staying in the hospital, I had a little PSP. You remember those PSPs? I, I could barely move my hands, so like I I played a little game, you know. That I could I played a little, watch movies on there because the hospital TV wasn't that good. So um, other than that, the hospital stay stayed there like for a few months. I think four months, and um, they took. Uh, I went through four surgeries and, and uh, one of the surgeries they let me go home for a, for a couple of days because I was com I was crying and complaining about I don't want to be in the hospital bed no more I just couldn't stand the environment it's like I feel like it's worse than prison almost which I never been locked up thank God you know because I got away clean <laughs> but at least I'm surviving and that's um, the end of story time for Saturday. Um, next Saturday, I'll tell you about the time when I was in elementary. I got bit by a black widow right here near my heart. Almost died. That's the first time I almost died. Second time in my third degree. So it's the third time of the charm. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully I'm still breathing. Hopefully God has me on this world for a purpose. <laughs> but you guys have a good day. Blessed day. God bless 559. And I'll see you guys on the other side.